how to install visual server data tools in visual studio 2019 um, so starting in uh, visual studio 2019 the server data tools are installed uh, by default uh, and uh, all you have to do is basically install the template plugins so here i'm trying to basically look for the projects uh, and uh, it's better to type the data keyword just to see if there is any um, SSIS project templates installed or not. So in this case, uh, obviously it's not installed and I'm going to install it and show it to you how to install it. So uh, you wanna go to this link first and uh, see all the requirements. Uh, so for Visual Studio 2019, as it says that SQL Server data tools are part of the package. All you have to do is check for this package in the installer. So it's already, if it's already installed, you can simply go to um, control panel and uh, go to Visual Studio 2019 installation and uh, see the configuration if it's enabled or not. So uh, once you make sure that it's enabled, the next step is to actually install the templates. So here I'm actually going to Visual Studio 2019 and um, click yes. So it's asking me to update Visual Studio. So simply click update and uh, it's gonna take a moment to install the updates. Uh, once it's done, I've speeded up this 10X so it's gonna take a little bit longer than that. So all I have to do is look up for this data storage uh, tool in the installation. So when you go there, click on the more and then modify. In here, browse through the workloads and look for the data storage and processing which is installed as you can see the blue ch checkbox right there. So if that is installed, we simply want to close this and uh, uh, go back to the next step which is installing, downloading the project templates and uh, the necessary tools. So go to extensions and here look for SQL uh, data tool. Click on the link that has the yellow icon. That's from Microsoft. This will take you to the page and it will actually directly download the, the package, which is 432 megabyte. Save that. Or you can just run it directly, but I think it's better to save it first. Uh, and uh, run that once it is downloaded. Uh, it's gonna take a while actually to install. So uh, begin installation. Uh, make sure that you close Visual Studio all versions and uh, any other uh, program that is being, uh, you know, that is affecting the installation. So after I close Visual Studio, there's one program that it's complaining about. And I think that it's probably, you know, either the antivirus thing or some other program. So once I close the antivirus program, it actually went away. So simply look for a process um, that uh, you can search it on Google and find what, what this program actually is. Uh, it actually says that it's a Microsoft installer or something. So maybe, you know, you all you need to do is just wait for a couple of minutes and it probably will go away automatically. So uh, once that program is closed, you can start installing and um, this process is gonna take a while actually, so I've skipped all the, you know, 
the intermediate steps and uh, after it's completed uh, you have to restart the PC once the PC is restarts fire up Visual Studio and uh, just want to make sure that this is 2019 uh, Go to File, New Project, and here type data and you will see that uh, SSIS pro uh, projects are now enabled. Simply leave the default names and start the new project. And as you can see now, the SSIS project is now ready. You can actually put all your controls on it and you can start creating packages. Thank you for watching.